Hello everyone, Spectre here, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics how to record, install, and view demos on Team Fortress 2. On a side note, most of these steps will work also in T CSGO, but I will be talking about it in TF2. If you would like a CSGO specific video, let me down, know down in the comments. I will be, um, all timestamps are going to be down in the description. First off, you're going to need to have Team Fortress 2 open. Um, once you got Team Fortress 2 open, we're going to want to press tilde, the squiggly line button below the escape key and to the left of the number one key on most keyboards. If it doesn't open up for you, what you want to do is you want to go to your options, advanced, and then make sure enable developer console is checked like this. Press OK. And then just for clarification, the steps optional, but by default, uh, toggle developer console, which is if you scroll down under options and then keyboard, um, it should be toggle developer console. It should be bound to the tilde key, which is this tiny little spec. You probably can't even see it on the video, but um, if it's not bound or it's bound to a different key, go ahead and rebind it if you want, um, but just make sure it's bound to a key. Um, once you have it bound to a key or it or tilde is fine with you, just hit apply. Hit OK, and then press the tilde key, and then to, and then first, now that we got the console all set up, we want to go into a server. Now that we are going into a server, um, this will work in no matter if it's online, offline, uh, any any server will do. So what we want to do is we want to join the team. We want to open up the console. And to record a demo, we want to type in the console record, and then the name of the demo you want to name it. So for me, I'm going to name it test demo, test demo. And then you should see in the in the console that it says recording to test demo dot dem dot dot dot. And then all these actions that I am doing are being recorded. To that file. So if I call for medic, if I shoot, you know, blah blah blah, kill some people, die, you know, all that, all that stuff, it'll all be captured under the demo. To stop a demo, just go into the console and type in stop. It should say, after you press enter, it should say completed demo, recording time, and then however long the demo was recorded for, and then the amount of frames it was. Enabled. And then, so to watch this demo, we want to go into the console and type in play demo. And then for me, it was test demo. Uh, but whatever it was for you, just replace, just put that name of the demo in there. So it'll be play demo in the name of your demo. Press enter, it will load. And as you can see, we are watching what I just what I just did in the game. Uh, while we are doing this, as you can see, yeah, I'm not I'm not touching anything. It's just what I recorded. Uh, to control the demo, you can type in demo UI or demo UI2. They both do the same thing, but uh, demo UI2 is more simplified. Um, with this, you can load a demo, so you don't even have to do it through the console. You can just open up the demo UI and load it, and there it is. Or if it's in a different folder, you can open up that different folder, and there are all your demos. You can stop the demo, which will take you right back to the main menu. Uh, demo UI uh, can be demo UI interferes with gameplay, so don't have it open while you're playing the game. Only have it open in the main menu or in the demos. Um, you can, with this, you can slow down and speed up demos. So you can make them go in slow motion, you can make them go in super f sane motion. Um, with this, you can rewind, fast forward, play, pause. And with this, this keeps track of what tick you're on and how many ticks there are in the demo. So what tick you're on and then the amount of ticks that are in the demo. And then with this, if you know what tick a specific moment you're looking for is on, you can type that tick in here, press go to, and the demo will go to that tick. 
if if you already pass the tick, any any rewinding you do will reload the demo from the start and fast forward to that tick. Fast forwarding just fast forwards. Just an FYI. All right. Now that we know how to watch, record, watch our demos, now I'm going to show you how to install demos. Um, for there are many reasons why you would want to install a demo. Most of the reason is uh, a demo review. So let's say a friend gave you their demo to look over and review it and learn from it, or an STV from a face it casual game or from a RGL or UGC match. Um, what, whatever it is, you just want to find out where that file is located that demo file is located. Um, for this example, I'm going to be showing you how to get it from Faceit. So let me transfer over to Faceit here real quick. Let me go to, all right. All right, so let me transition. All right, now that we are in Faceit, what we want to do is as long as we have played matches in Faceit, we want to go to our profile. We want to go and click on matches here. And then you'll see all your stats down here, match history. Um, and you can click on any one of these. And then what you can do is you can click on, let's say this one. It'll bring up the scoreboard. You can click on overview and then hit watch demo. It'll open up a web page where it will automatically download the demo for you. Um, if you have a zip extractor installed like WinRAR, it will open it, it will install it as a, a zip file. Um, if I'm, I do believe if you don't have a zip file installed, it'll just download it directly as a D, .dem file. So um, if, if you don't have any of those uh, installed, you can just drag and drop directly right into your TF folder. But because I have WinRAR installed, it installed as a zip file. So what I want to do is I want to open up that zip file. Mine open up in RuneWire. And then I want to go and open up. <clears throat> Let me shrink this real quick. All right. I want to open up my, I want to open up where the file was installed. So I got it open on the other screen on WinRAR. I want to go into my, <clears throat> where Team Fortress 2 is installed. For me, it's installed under my E drive because I have Steam installed on all three of my drives. I want to go to, so let me just redo that. So I want to find Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and TF. And then what we want to do is we want to drag and drop the DEM file into TF. And there we go. It's right there. We just installed it and then what we want to do is we want to go back into Team Fortress 2 and then we can type play demo and then for for this example I'm going to be using this drop down uh, what this drop down does is once you type in play demo it will show all the names of all the valid demo files that are in the TF folder so we just hit play demo and then hit enter. And then because this is an STV file, we can view it as though we were spectating it. So as you can see, I'm not locked to a specific person. What I can watch these engineers build their sentries, teleporters, you know, I can watch this blue scout do nothing. I can watch myself in third person. I can watch anyone in third person. I can literally fly around through the map and commentate if I really wanted to. Um, if anyone talks in voice chat, no matter what team, I can hear it. Uh, the only thing you can't see is team text chat. Not this guys. But yeah. Um, all right. And then now that <clears throat> now that we have that all set up there is one last thing um, I want to show you how to 
set up Team Fortress 2 to auto record your demos. If so, if you feel like so, if you don't feel like doing that every time, uh, or you just want it to automatically record, so if you get a good game, you just have it recorded, then this is this is what you want. So what we want to do is we want to go to Advanced Options. We want to hit that. We want to scroll all the way down. At least for me, it is until we find demo support. And then from here, we have recording mode. What recording mode is, manual, which is the steps I showed before. Uh, you do it all through console to start, stop, and all that. Uh, auto record competitive matches. As far as I'm aware, competitive matches in this context only records when you do Valve competitive. So when each person like, so uh, the MVM ready up system. So if you're playing, if you're playing on Valve ca competitive, which you can, um, then this will automatically record those matches. If you are playing on a third party server that is that is set up the exact same way, this should record those matches as well. Um, auto record all matches every game you play will be recorded so every casual competitive tournament everything you do will be automatically recorded auto record tournament matches so if you're in RGL or UGC most servers are set up as a what as a team ready system so once the team is ready the just if it is ready up their team and then when the other team's ready, the match starts. It's not a per player ready, like Valve uh, competitive is. So that's the difference between competitive and tournament. Competitive is a per player ready system, and tournament is a per team uh, competitive uh, ready system. Uh, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Um, and then right here, you can select what folder each demo will be recorded to. As far as I'm aware, by default, this demos is uh, default. You can put a prefix on the demos if you want. You can put a, you can have it play a sound whenever it stops and starts a demo. You can have it log events. So if if set all events are logged to the general underscore events.txt file. That contains each event for each associated .dem file. So you have more files in in general in there, but it will record the tick that an event happened at. Location of in-game notifications. So what this will do is when it starts a, a recording, it will tell you either in the console or the chat or both. Uh, don't worry, no one else can see it. And then you, or you can also have it uh, show it up on the HUD. Um, I don't really know what that looks like uh, because I've never used it. Um, you can have it auto save a screenshot at the end of a match. So when your tournament is done, or your competitive game, or your casual game is done, it will automatically open up the the scoreboard and t t screenshot it. And then you can set. Uh, then you can set the minimum amount of kill streaks uh, before kill streaks are logged, and then times in and then the time in between. And then you can also have auto delete recordings. So like if if you get no kill streaks, you'll just delete that recording. And um, let me just quickly show you how to load a demo file from the console that isn't directly in the TF folder. So uh, because those demos, the automatic ones, are being recorded to the demos folder, what we want to do is we want to type in in console play demo TF slash demos slash. And then we want to find the name of the demo that we want to do. Let me just go into my demos folder real quick. And then I will just quick rename, copy, paste. And then there we go. And it will play the demo directly from that folder. And that's all you got to do. 
and here we are uh, on a face it casual game and I'm spectating myself playing some pyro on on this map and there we go um, if you have any questions uh, go ahead and leave them down in the comments I will I'll try and answer it to the best of my knowledge uh, and uh, if you have any other things you have questions about uh, like uh, anything like um, just classes specific weapons or anything like that I I might want to I, I might want to do a series uh, where I talk about each specific weapon in the game each specific class in the game and give helpful tips uh, to help players out learn something about the game um, Either way, uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Again, peace.